In both canon and legends, a Grand Moff was a very high-ranking political title in the hierarchy of the Galactic Empire. In this video, I will list every Grand Moff and a bit about who they were. It was a Grand Moff's responsibility to govern an oversector, which consisted of several prioritised planetary sectors, and answered only to Emperor Palpatine. A Grand Moff during the Imperial Era were personally appointed by the Emperor himself until his death in 4 ABY. The rank of Grand Moff was the sixth highest position in the Empire's hierarchy, behind the Emperor, Darth Vader, the Grand Vizier, the Imperial Advisors on the Imperial Ruling Council, and lastly the Grand Admirals. With that said, I will start with all the currently known Grand Moffs from canon material. Before the demise of the Republic, Wilhoff Tarkin held the rank of Captain and Admiral before his promotion to Moff. In 19 BBY, shortly after the formation of the Galactic Empire, Tarkin became the very first Grand Moff. Once appointed, Wilhoff quickly set up the Tarkin Initiative inside the Advanced Weapons Research Think Tank and quickly gained favour with Emperor Palpatine. He went on to personally report the progress of the Death Star project to Palpatine, believing the station would instill the local systems with fear of the Empire's rule. Famously, Tarkin was killed aboard the station in 0 BBY during the Battle of Yavin, believing the rebels could not defeat the station. Tarkin is also to be counted as a Legends Grand Moff. Grand Moff Rand was one of the high-ranking Imperials to survive the Battle of Endor and the Battle of Jakku. During the Imperial Era, Rand governed the Outer Rim territories which remained in the Imperial hands after the death of Emperor Palpatine. In 5 ABY, the rise of the Empire's de facto leader, Gallius Rax, appointed Rand onto the secret advisory council called the Shadow Council, alongside other leaders such as Grand Admiral Ray Sloan and Commandant Brendel Hooks. Shadow Council was created by Rax to govern the fragmented Galactic Empire from behind the scenes while supporting the official figurehead in the form of Ray Sloan. After the Empire's disastrous defeat at the Battle of Jakku, Rand gathered surviving Imperial forces and retreated to the Quellihan Nebula, where he created his Imperial Remnant for a renewed offensive against the New Republic. Grand Moff Lozen Tolruk was the governor of Kashi during the Galactic Civil War and known for enslaving almost the whole of the Wookiee population. Tolruk was a ruthless and sadistic Imperial who hunted Wookiees for amusement. Tolruk did not respect Rain Sloan's authority as the public leader of the Empire after the Battle of Endor. In 5 ABY, the Grand Moff eventually lost control of Kashi and went mad, ordering his Star Destroyers to conduct an orbital bombardment of the planet with him still on the surface. He was assassinated by one of the Wookiee slaves by breaking his neck. Grand Moff Falco Pandian was previously a Moff who proclaimed himself a Grand Moff after the Battle of Endor. He was a member of the newly formed Imperial Future Council, which gathered to meet on Akiva, and consisted of the Empire's remaining highest ranking Imperials, including Ray Sloan and Yap Tashu. During the meeting, Pandian clashed with Sloan and attempted to undermine her authority. Before the meeting ended, the New Republic had delivered a propaganda message to the people on Akiva, which brought about an uprising against any present Imperial forces. Boarding a shuttle, Members of the Council, including Sloane's rebel prisoners, tried to escape, but crash-landed into the Star Destroyer Vigilance hangar bay after the prisoners managed to free themselves. Having survived the crash, Ray Sloane boarded another shuttle to make her escape, but Pandian had managed to get on board too. Pandian wanted to kill Sloane, but after a struggle, she ejected inside an escape pod. Pandian was killed shortly afterwards when the shuttle exploded. That's all for the cannon, Grand Moffs. Now for all the many Grand Moffs identified in Legends. Some of these Grand Moff characters are very strange, but here goes. Grand Moff Hisa was appointed in the early years of the Galactic Empire. Hisa originally governed the Kessel Sector during the Galactic Civil War. In 5 ABY he founded the Central Committee of Grand Moffs and supported a slave lord called Trioclius, who believed he was the son of Emperor Palpatine. Hisa's Committee of Moffs was attempting to overthrow Yusani Isard's Imperial ruling faction. Trioclius later declared himself Emperor of the Imperial Faction, which Hissa and the other Imperials duly followed. During a skirmish with the rebels on Juro, Hissa fell into a pool of acidic liquid, losing his limbs. After being saved by a stormtrooper, Hissa was fitted with mechanical arms and given a hover chair. He was eventually sentenced to death by the Prophets of the Dark Side. Grand Moff Muzza became a member of the Central Committee of Grand Moffs, formed in 5 ABY. Muzza was a firm supporter to Hissa and Trioclius and was also executed by the Prophets of the Dark Side in 5 ABY. Grand Moff Dunhausen also became a member of the Central Committee of Grand Moffs and was trusted highly by Grand Moff Hissa. Dunhausen was another firm supporter of Trioclius and again was executed by the Prophets of the Dark Side. 
Grand Moff Thistleborn was another member of the Central Committee of Grand Moths and another supporter to Triochlius. He too suffered the same fate as Muzza and Dunhausen. Grand Moff Argon governed the Dominus system. In Zero BBY he secretly plotted to defect to the Alliance to restore the Republic. After a visit by a member of Palpatine's Royal Guard, Argon was killed attempting to escape aboard his shuttle while orbiting the sector's capital, Soleil. Grand Moff Nox Vellum was appointed at the height of Palpatine's new order and oversaw the Bright Jewel Oversector, also known as Sector 8. The Oversector included the Yavin system, so when Vellum failed to locate the rebel base on Yavin 4 before the destruction of the first Death Star, Emperor Palpatine removed five of the most important planets from his Oversector and placed them under the direct rule of Darth Vader. Grand Moff Dargan presided over the Corellian Sector during the Imperial Era of the Galaxy. Born on Coruscant, she was a firm supporter of Palpatine. She held a prominent governmental position as a reward for her family's loyalty to the New Order. Dargan successfully controlled the Corellian Sector during the reign of Palpatine's rule. One of the more obscure Grand Moffs during the Galactic Civil War was Grand Moff 48C. The droid's unusual rise to the rank saw 48C join the secretive Imperial redesign team. 48C was part of a group of agents asked with the subjugation and sometimes liquidation of select non-human species. He was secretly working on a project called the Heart of Steel. The project created a protocol droid called B1D4 with the capability to override the programming of any computer system in the galaxy. In Zero ABY, the Imperial craft carrying the experimental droid was attacked by rebel forces. After the battle, a merchant called Duraith salvaged the droid from the wreckage, not realising the value of the droid. However, while 48C was attempting to recover the droid from the rebels, he was eventually deactivated. Grand Moff Gan was a governor of Sector 5 in the area of the galaxy known as the Deep Core. He commanded the 5th Sector Army and from 19 BBY until 18 ABY was one of the highest ranking Imperials at the time until the New Republic eventually removed him from power. Grand Moff Singe was promoted to the rank of Grand Moff sometime between the Battle of Yavin and the Battle of Endor for foiling a potential threat to Emperor Palpatine's rule. Singe was given command over the Quelli Oversector which formed a large portion of the galaxy. After the Battle of Endor, Singe became an independent Imperial Warlord and forged his own powerful Imperial Remnant fleet which once controlled a third of the known galaxy. In 8 ABY Singe was killed by Han Solo during the Battle of Dathomir when the Millennium Falcon penetrated the Super Star Destroyer's shields and fired at the bridge. Grand Moff Lynch Hauser was appointed by Palpatine to govern the Dustig Oversector and command the 17th Sector Army. In 0 ABY during Hauser's reign as Grand Moff he became aware of corruption taking place under his jurisdiction. Moff Grigger, who governed the planet of Mahaley, had set up an illegal mining operation, and Hauser sent TIE fighter pilot Ranulf Trommer to spy on the Moff, eventually eliminating him. Grand Moff Ardus Kane was a prominent supporter of Palpatine's New Order, and rose up the ranks of the Republic and eventually the Galactic Empire to become a Moff of several sectors. When Grand Moff Tarkin was killed in Zero BBY, Kane was promoted to Grand Moff and took over from Tarkin to govern the Outer Rim Oversector. When news of the Empire's defeat after the Battle of Endor reached Kane, he formed the Pentastar Alignment, which was a consolidation of Imperial forces and leaders from corporate commerce to keep the Outer Rim territory under Imperial control despite the rise of the New Republic. In 10 ABY, Kane was killed during a campaign directed by the resurrected Palpatine when his shuttle was destroyed over the planet Palali by a New Republic rebel fighter attack. Grand Moff Derea was in command over the priority sector, Gra Ploven, and was known for his irritable displays of behaviour. Around 4 ABY, he assessed the Ploven's failed contribution to the Empire's war effort and ordered the Star Destroyer Forger to punish the native Ploven by firing onto the planet's oceans, creating boiling clouds which killed 200,000 of the fish-like natives in three coastal cities. Grand Moff Kintaro was a governor of the Sarin Oversector. He was originally one of the 20 military republic governors during the latter stages of the Clone Wars. He then went on to be part of the first 20 Grand Moffs to be appointed in the early years of Palpatine's reign. Sometime between 3 and 4 ABY, Kintaro was executed by Palpatine after the Grand Moff had knowingly allowed a rebel base to be established inside his own territory. Grand Moff Nivers governed a region of the Outer Rim territories. After the Battle of Endor, Nivers attempted to take control of the planet Tandankin, but failed when the New Republic attacked his forces and captured the Grand Moff. Grand Moff Ambris Selet 
was the regional governor of the Greater Maldrude sector. Zealot was faced with the task of suppressing well-established alliance to restore the Republic forces on a number of planets in his territory. Selly asked Army Command for advice on which surface craft would be best deployed in such circumstances. The military report was acquired by the rebels and became the basis for their own standard guide to Imperial armour. After the Battle of Endor, High Admiral Teradoc put Zealot under house arrest and took control of the Maldrud Oversector. Grand Moff Tenille served both the Galactic Republic and the Galactic Empire. He was appointed as one of the 20 original Grand Moffs and later founded and commanded the development of the Storm Commandos in response to the guerrilla tactics of the Rebel Alliance during the early days of the Galactic Civil War. Grand Moff Tavira was appointed by Emperor Palpatine to oversee Eato VI during the Galactic Civil War. Due to a rare allergy to Bacta, which was impossible to treat, Tavira faced a very long and painful recovery process with no guarantee of success. The Grand Moff eventually killed himself. Grand Moff Tractor was human, but it was encased in cybernetic implants after being horribly injured by a thermal detonator during the Clone Wars. From the Galactic Empire's rise to power, he governed the Imperial Center over Sector and the First Sector Army. In 1 BBY, Tractor unsuccessfully masterminded the anti-Sith conspiracy and attempted to kill Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader during the Galactic Civil War. The Grand Moff recruited a group of other conspirators, but their mistrust for each other led to failure of the coup. Tractor was killed in his own personal quarters by an assassin called Gower. Grand Moff Barton was a cyborg who was another conspirator in the anti-Sith conspiracy with Grand Moff Tractor. Barton had ordered Gower to kill Tractor, however he died in his luxury apartment on Coruscant after another conspirator, General Skosef, shot him in the back. Grand Moff Rufin Tigulinus was originally a Grand Admiral and later a Grand Moff until his death in 5 ABY. A talented and charismatic politician as well as a respected fleet admiral, Tigulinus joined the Central Committee of Grand Moffs, expecting to be offered a leading role. When Grand Moff Hisser offered him a demeaning role on the committee, Tigulinus declined it on the advice from a close friend, Moff Distra. Deeming Tigulinus disloyal to the Empire, Grand Moff Hisser used his declined offer as an excuse to execute a rival. Grand Moff Trader was a rival to Tigulinus and envied his swift rise to power. Trader suffered severe disappointment when he lost an ally, Grand Moff Visal, to support Tigulinus after Visal was appointed Governor of Chandrilla. Grand Moff Visal was a skillful governor who was appointed Grand Moff over Chandrilla in 1 ABY. While previously Governor of Dakshi, he managed to counter the Justice Action Network terrorist group without bloodshed. Grand Moff Thurban governed the Maldrub Oversector and commanded the 12th Army from the early years of the Imperial rule. In 2 ABY, Thurban wanted to take back the Mancalamari homeworld, Rusti, and mounted a lengthy orbital bombardment wiping out all life on the planet. Grand Moff Lotta was responsible for the genocide which took place on the planet Vold. When the New Republic heard of this, they sent agents to Vold to track Lotta down, the Grand Moff had already disappeared. The source information for this character was never licensed by Lucasfilm. Grand Moff Cole Searden was originally an officer in the Republic until the formation of the Galactic Empire, where he received the rank of Moff over Sector 3's army. His forces were seen as a significant threat to the New Republic, and in 1 ABY eventually defeated Searden over the planet of Tafira. The Grand Moff was killed after his Lambda Shuttle was destroyed by Luke Skywalker. Grand Moff Fleury Voro was originally a member of the 20 Grand Moffs appointed by Palpatine in 19 ABY. He governed the Corellian Oversector and commanded the Second Sector Army. After a rivalry with Prince Shizor eventually becoming the leader of the Black Sun, he formed an alliance with the Isani Isard. However, he was eventually imprisoned by the New Republic for war crimes, and Voru was sent to the Spice Mines of Kessel. Grand Moff Khoi was another original member of the 20 Grand Moffs and commanded the Palace Oversector and the 16th Sector Army. In 1 BBY, Khoi's second officer, Captain Desaites, was a co-conspirator of the anti-Sith coup to remove Palpatine and Vader. Khoi was killed aboard the Star Destroyer Meathus inside his personal quarters by Desaites, who felt Khoi's loyalty to Darth Vader would compromise his plans. Grand Moff Wilkadon governed the planet of Askai in the Outer Rim territories, however the Grand Moff was eventually captured by the Rebel Alliance's Wraith Squadron. Grand Moff Toreth was a powerful figure during the Imperial era 
and managed to protect several important sectors from the Rebel Alliance. Unfortunately, he was killed by the Rebels during an unexpected visit to the Sinestra spacecraft show to witness the unveiling of a new D-Wing superiority starfighter. Grand Moff Bailir governed the Transnebula Oversector and commanded the 13th Sector Army. Grand Moff Renau governed the Gordian Reach Oversector and commanded the 11th Army Sector. Grand Moff Weblin governed the Imperial Priority Sector at Black Sword, which was situated inside the Inner Rim where he commanded the 6th Sector Army. Grand Moff Torbin was an obscure governor mentioned in a French role-playing game in 1996, but there was no background material. And finally, I've saved the strangest Grand Moff from the Galactic Empire era until last. Grand Moff Ravik governed the Talonda Sector and commanded the 14th Sector Army. He was captured by the Rebel Alliance, but managed to escape. However, during the escape, he damaged the Rebel's vessel's hyperdrive, causing it to jump into a mysterious dimension called Other Space. Whilst in Other Space, he attempted to make an alliance with the strange arachnoid species known as the Chiron. The Chiron poised Ravik, turning the former Grand Moff into a monstrous half-human arachnoid mutation. Ravik later attempted to attack the Rebel Alliance, but he was unsuccessful and was killed in the process. So that completes all the Grand Moffs from Canon and Legends material. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and as always, may the Force be with you.